Hello students. Here is a video on using the Towson Library website to conduct research. Uh, you can see the URL, or no you can't because I moved this down. Anyway, the URL is libraries.towson.edu. You can also just go to the Towson University homepage and the library link is right up here. Uh, first thing you want to do is click sign in and go to off campus sign in this should take you to a login page I've already logged in but it's pretty easy it'll redirect you back here and then we are ready to start searching um, so at this point you should have a general idea of what you want to write about um, if you don't, that's okay. You can come back and watch this video later or just watch it now and remember some of the main points. But uh, one of the things that I used to ask my students to write about were issues that they had with high school. And one of their common topics was school uniforms. You can see that I've already actually searched for that in this browser. So you click search and it's going to take you to a new page that looks something like this with your search terms at the top uh, some blank spaces for adding more search terms and you can see this page is going to show you the first 20 results out of 3,374,320 about school uniforms or containing the text school uniforms so we want to narrow down this 3 million and there are a couple things that you should do right away to help narrow this down and make sure that your search is something that you actually want to use. Uh, the first thing to do is, unless you want to go to the library, which actually I don't think you can right now, this is 2020, um, yeah, April of 2020, and so you can't go to the library. So first thing you should do is click the check mark next to full text. Um, this will narrow things to uh, items that you should be able to read online. So now we're down to 2,502,000. The next thing that you want to do is check the box next to peer reviewed. So when something is peer reviewed, that means that it has been vetted it has been reviewed by other people in that field and other people in that field have said yes this information adds to our discussion of uh, school uniforms in this case it is quality research there are few problems with the research if any etc um, so you can see we've gone from over 3 million to 539,390 which is Pretty good. Uh, we're going to narrow that down even further. Over here on the left, you can see this slider to narrow the publication date. We're going to look at things in the last 10 years about. And once you move the slider, you might have to click on one of the blue bars again to actually get the page to reload. Um, I'm using Firefox and I have to do that. Depending on your browser, you might have to do that as well. So now we're down to 313,108. You can further narrow this to look at only academic journals, which brings you down to 301,000. Uh, reviews or reviews of other articles, that's going to be less helpful. Magazine articles may be helpful. But at this point, 313,000, we're going to say that's OK. So now we're going to narrow it down by thinking about what specific aspect of school uniforms we want to talk about. If, as part of my essay, I were going to write about disciplinary issues with school uniforms, I might write in discipline. And we'll search that again. So now our search is for articles or full text, peer reviewed publications between 2010 and 2020 that contain school uniforms and disciplines. So now we're down to 41,426. Um, because I'm going to be making my argument about schools in the United States, let's say, we'll say United States, and I can see someone has already filled in something like this, United States or America or USA or US or United States of America, and now we're down to 31,897. 
Um, all right, school uniforms. So I'm going to put this in quotation marks. Hopefully that will narrow out white tree, cedar, ring, chronology. Yeah, there we go. So now we're down to 481. I put my two word phrase in quotation marks and that narrowed it down. So now we're, we're searching for specifically that phrase instead of just the words school uniforms. So 481 and disciplinary issues and United States. And if we wanted to narrow it further, you can click this add row, add row, add row over here. And we can narrow it down even further. But 481 hits is not that bad. Um, obviously, you don't want to look through all 481. But even if you look through just the first few pages of this, you're probably going to find something that will work for you. Uh, now, you will have to do some reading on these um, but let's see if I click PDF full text here okay it's not actually oh it's downloaded it um, okay well this is because of my privacy settings I can't actually look at that um, HTML full text we'll look at this Okay, so for a lot of these, you can see up here, you can actually have someone read it to you. Um, for a lot of articles, the first section is going to be sort of an abstract of the article. It's going to talk a little bit about, or, or give you a summary, rather, of what the article is doing. So you, if you want to move through a bunch of these quickly, all you have to read is that abstract at the beginning, that summary. Um, if you want to keep it, you can save it to your Google Drive. You can add it to a folder on the library website. You can print it. Uh, you can email. I think it only emails the citation. You can save it, which is different from adding it to a folder. Somehow, I'm not exactly sure how this works. You can also click Cite and it will bring you to this citation format um, and then you can look for here's MLA format um, one of the things that I want you to know about using citations from here from the library website is that it's still important for you to look over that citation and compare it to the Purdue OWL this one looks correct to me but a lot of the times if I see students just using things straight from the library uh, they'll have for example Journal of Social Issues all in capitals or sometimes the title will be all in capitals when that is actually incorrect um, so just look over it compared to the Purdue OWL or eyeball it if you already feel comfortable with your citation format make sure that things look correct from that all right, so those are the basics of using the library search. You want to start with a wide search. So in our case, we started with something very wide, school uniforms, and then we narrowed it down by adding terms that specified what we wanted to look for within that overall field of school uniforms. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helps you out. If you are struggling, with uh, using the library, um, we can either meet up during my office hours and talk about things, or you can also click over here, this yellow button, to ask a librarian. Only do this if you're struggling and you need help. Don't do it just to ask a librarian to do your research for you. Um, I am pretty sure that because a lot of people are using their online resources now, they're maybe a bit swamped. Um, instead, come to my office hours, talk to me. Uh, if I am really not available, then click on this and ask a librarian. Anyway, I hope this helps, and I'll uh, hope to hear from you soon.